Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. So in today's video, I do want to talk about Junior Firpo and what his future is going to be like in a few months. There has been negotiations going on between FC Barcelona and AC Milan and right now they are very close on finding an agreement between Junior Firpo, AC Milan and FC Barcelona. And then within the next topic, we are also going to be talking about Ronald Koeman. Ronald Koeman recently did speak out on Lionel Messi, Memphis Depay and how optimistic he does feel about the next season. All of this is going to be discussed with in today's video and so we are first going to be talking about Junior Firpo. So previously we have heard many reports stating that Barcelona do want to sell Junior Firpo. He is a player that Barcelona do want to let go of among many other players and he is one of the most demanded players. There has been Italian clubs interested in Junior Firpo, there has been English clubs interested in Junior Firpo but the one club that Barcelona has been speaking with so frequently it has been AC Milan. AC Milan is very keen on bringing in Junior Firpo for the next season they do want to bring competition for Theo Hernandez who is their current left back and bring more depth. AC Milan is going to be in the Champions League next season they have qualified and because they are going to be participating in the Champions League they are going to be playing more games so it makes more sense for AC Milan to strengthen that left back position in order to adapt with the amount of games they are going to be playing and there has been reports stating that Barcelona do want to sell Junior Firpo but AC Milan are responding back with we only want a loan with an option to buy maybe later in about one year. So there were ongoing back and forth negotiations. But now it says here, according to Ferran Martinez, AC Milan, who has been wanting Junior Firpo on a loan, are now open to paying a transfer fee and that the player also prefers a move to Italy. And so this is basically confirming that AC Milan want to actually buy the player now. They are no longer asking for a loan for Junior Firpo. AC Milan is willing to pay for this player. Now, what changed AC Milan's mind? Why is AC Milan now wanting to pay for Firpo. So as we do continue throughout this report, it says here that in Italy, other than AC Milan, there are other teams like Napoli and Fiorentina who are eyeing the situation of Junior Firpo. And there are other clubs in England like West Ham and Southampton who have shown great interest in this player. So AC Milan were probably looking at this and saying, wait a minute, we have competition. We have other clubs that do want Junior Firpo. We cannot lose this player because this is a player that we want. And I believe that because AC Milan were looking at this competition, they had no choice but to inform FC Barcelona that they do want to buy the player. So the deal will go through. Firpo will be leaving FC Barcelona. AC Milan is going to be Junior Firpo's next club. As for the transfer fee, I do expect AC Milan to pay around 16 million euros for this transfer and then potentially having the variable fee, which could be around 6 to 7 million euros. Altogether, assuming that Firpo performs very well with AC Milan and he provides much needed value for that club, AC Milan could be looking at paying FC Barcelona at around 23 million euros which is going to be a great piece of business from FC Barcelona. As for the sporting level from the perspective of FC Barcelona the strategy is still going to be the same. If Firpo does leave this club there are going to be options for many players to take on that role. Jordi Alba is going to continue and be that first option in the left back position. I do see a player like Serginho Dest potentially playing on the left back position when needed and then as for our third option I do see Alejandro Balde who is a Barcelona Academy pro product occasionally being placed in that left back position. Barcelona has options. Junior Firpo will not be a huge loss for Ronald Koeman and I think that with these options that we do see here there is going to be more flexibility. It would give Jordi Alba much more needed rest and it will also give the introduction for Alejandro Balde who has been reported to be a great player. Now I do want to move on towards the next topic and we are going to be talking about Ronald Koeman and the interview he did have a couple of hours ago and Ronald Koeman did speak to sport and this is what he did have to say about Memphis Depay. Nothing is official yet but all parties are taking it for granted. It's not done yet because the signatures are still missing within this contract but the transfer is almost complete and I'm very optimistic. Hopefully he can come because he is a great player. Then he went on to speak about Lionel Messi and this is what he said and I quote, we have always said that Messi has to end up staying at FC Barcelona so hopefully the board can close his continuity very very soon. I believe that it is possible to do so. It will be great news for everyone in FC Barcelona. And then Ronald Koeman went on to talk about the squad and how he does feel about the squad for the next season. And this is what he said. The prospects are good. I know that the club is working very hard to build a very competitive team better than last year. I'm convinced that the squad will be stronger. So you look at how Ronald Koeman was speaking about Depay, Messi, the squad for next season. Ronald Koeman is actually very optimistic. He does expect that Memphis Depay is going to be a Barcelona player. He does expect that Messi is going to be continuing with this club 
job and he is expecting for this squad to be much stronger and this is the question that i do want to ask you guys for everyone that's here that's watching this video assuming that barcelona do what they need to do which is to sell players such as martin brethwaite umtiti junior filippo pianic mateos fernandez and many of these other players right the squad that we currently do have right now with the new arrivals is this squad good enough to be competitive because we have Memphis Depay and Sergio Aguero who are going to be that number nine options for Ronald Koeman something that he has been needing since he started with FC Barcelona we're going to be having Ansu Fati back who we know is a deadly player when he is in his A game next season is going to be a huge season for Ansu Fati and then we are also going to be having Pedri and Frankie de Jong you look at how they have been performing with their national teams how important they are and how well respected they are in the eyes of many fans around the world you look at the momentum Pedri and Frankie de Jong are going to be bringing in the next season we should expect Pedri and de Jong to have very big seasons and play a very important part for FC Barcelona and let me tell you Ronald Koeman was there when Frankie de Jong was putting out those performances against Ukraine and Austria Frankie de Jong was playing so well and you better bet that Ronald Koeman is doing everything in his power to try and figure out okay how can I get this version of Frankie de Jong in my Barcelona and then we also do have the implementation of Eric Garcia who is a brand new center back and Emerson who is a right back to strengthen that defensive line to be very honest you look at these players and how they are going to be performing looking at the momentum that they are going to be bringing I find it very difficult for Ronald Koeman to have a worse season compared to the last season now there has been concerns right I have been questioned what about the central defensive midfield position because look Barcelona were linked with Wijnaldum but PSG came in and says we're going to offer you more money and then Wijnaldum chose PSG over FC Barcelona so it was quite clear that Barcelona were looking for a central defensive midfielder and here's my opinion right I do think that Barcelona should be looking for a central defensive midfielder whether it's through the academy or out there in Europe yeah, and so yes I do think that a player such as him whoever that may be should come to Barcelona and sub out a player like Sergio Busquets who is a player that is getting much older but here's a catch I do think that whoever that central defensive midfielder is going to be I do not think that that player is going to be coming to Barcelona to replace Busquets fully because I strongly still believe that Busquets still has a lot to give to this club he is still a great player and I do not see any central defensive midfielder completely replacing Busquets and having Busquets be on the bench in the very beginning of these matches for next season because you look at how Busquets was performing in those last eight games it really did seem like the Busquets of 2012 or 2013 like he was in his prime and the only reason why Busquets was performing in that way it was because look if you want to get the best Busquets the best version of this player and I understand that there is a lot of hate going on around this player because of how slow he is because of how fragile and stiff he does look on the field the best way to get the best out of Sergio Busquets is to make the field smaller this is part of the game that makes Barcelona very strong and it should be Barcelona's game in the next season because let me tell you last season there were many moments where Barcelona were making the pitch much bigger and it placed Barcelona in a situation where they should not be in the first place Barcelona is not that type of team Barcelona want to make the pitch seem a lot smaller but the moment Barcelona are being spread out and they make the pitch much bigger then yes Busquets is going to be exposed with the amount of space he is seeing around himself so if Barcelona as a collective can do that under Ronald Koeman which I assume Koeman will be doing with this squad then there is going to be no need on replacing Busquets fully next season and if there was a player that could take that central defensive midfield position if he were to get injured it could be a player like Moriba so as for the front line it is very solid there are options as for the midfield line it is also very solid there are options but when it comes to the defensive line I strongly still believe that Barcelona should be looking for a one more left-footed center back after selling a player like Samuel Umtiti and Lenglet a left-footed center back that can also play as a left back because if there was one thing that Barcelona do need right because we have just talked about this earlier in this video how we're going to be having options in the left back position like Serginho Dest, Jordi Alba, Alejandro Balde we need a player that can play as a left center back and as a left back very similar to what Barcelona have with Minguesa. Minguesa can play as a right center back and he can also play as a right back if Barcelona can find a player such as that to bring that type of profile that would greatly help and solidify this defensive line that Barcelona will be having and that should be the only transfer Barcelona, John Laporta, Ronald Koeman should be focusing on for the rest of this summer but that's going to be it for today's Barcelona daily news thank you guys so much for watching if you guys are new here welcome to the channel please like subscribe comment and I will see you guys in the next video.